Hair follicle miniaturization is the process hair goes through before it falls out. In this video, I'll explain why the miniaturization process takes place and how it also leads to the thinning and recession of your hair. Then I'll show you eight proven natural ways to stop and reverse the process so you can stop yourself from going bold. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. On this channel we create tons of science backed YouTube videos all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow your hair. So if you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe. So first, what is hair miniaturization? In this photo you can see the beginning stages of thinning and recession, starting with the frontal hairline where follicles are more likely to miniaturize first. In its simplest terms, hair miniaturization is the shrinking of the hair strand and eventually the hair follicle. This is commonly seen in those with a variety of hair loss types and can have permanent effects if not handled quickly. The symptoms of hair miniaturization mimic those of hair loss and this is due to a link between the two processes. So now we're going to have a look at how hair miniaturization is linked to genetic alopecia. To understand the role that miniaturization plays in hair loss, we first must look at the hair growth cycle. The first is the anagen or growth phase and this phase lasts anywhere between 3 to 5 years and it's the main growing phase within the hair growth cycle. The catagen phase or the transition phase is the shortest phase in the cycle lasting only 1 to 2 weeks and is intermediate between growth and rest. And then we have the telogen or rest phase and finally this phase lasts 3 to 4 months. At this point hair shedding increases and old hairs fall out so new hairs can take their place. This then restarts the cycle of hair growth leading uh, back into anagen. In those with hair miniaturization, the cycle is interrupted for one reason or another. The two most common interruptions occur during the anagen phase of growth, typically experienced by those with male pattern baldness, and the telogen phase of growth, and this is known as telogen effluvium, and it's triggered by a number of causes. These interruptions can lead to shortening of the hair strands and constricting of the hair follicles and this eventually leads to hair thinning and loss. And now let's have a quick look at the four main causes of hair miniaturization. First we've got male pattern baldness, which involves a sensitivity to dihydrotestosterone caused by the 5-alpha reductase enzyme attaching onto testosterone. Then we've got telogen effluvium, and this is where the hair follicle spends too much time in the telogen phase of the growth cycle. Then we've got nutritional deficiencies, now, whether through poor nutritional intake or inadequate delivery of nutrients to the scalp, a nutritional deficiency can weaken the hair and interrupt the hair growth cycle and ultimately lead to miniaturization. Also, we've got aging, and as we age, the processes that take place within our bodies slow down. And this is true for the hair growth cycle and may be caused by an increase in age-related free radicals. So now let's take a look at how to reverse hair miniaturization. The first thing that we can do is inhibit the 5-alpha reductase enzyme by taking various internal supplements such as the reishi mushroom and sore palmetto. And these have both been shown to significantly reduce levels of 5-alpha reductase when consumed. The second way is to reduce levels of 5-alpha reductase by the diet as the 5-AR enzyme can only operate in a certain acidic pH level. The second thing that we can do is to reduce DHT through various internal supplements such as green tea, flax seeds, sesame seeds, eclonia clava and pumpkin seed. All of these which can be easily added into your diet either in the form of smoothies uh, with the help of vegetable juicing or through direct supplementation. The third thing is to remove DHT from the scalp. Over time DHT slowly builds up. It can then be trapped within sebum, dead skin cells and dirt and can continue to further irritate hair follicles. You can create an all-natural scalp peel by combining half a tablespoon of Himalayan or Celtic sea salt, one teaspoon of powdered activated charcoal, 100 milliliters of ginger and cucumber juice, and one whole lemon juice. Simply combine all the ingredients together and massage it into your scalp and allow it to sit for 5 to 10 minutes before gently rinsing and removing the peel from your scalp. The fourth thing is to practice scalp massages. Blood circulation is essential for full body health, but many people fail to remember that circulation 
also plays a key role in healthy hair development and growth, as circulation delivers both oxygen and vital nutrients to the scalp. A 2016 study performed by researchers in Tokyo aimed to evaluate the effectiveness of scalp massages on hair growth in men. After 24 weeks, hair thickness was shown to have improved significantly in the scalp massage group. The fifth thing we can do is to use essential oils. As a proven ingredient in a variety of hair care products, essential oils can improve your scalp in a number of ways. One such effect, depending on the oil used, is an increase in scalp circulation. A few such essential oils include peppermint, rosemary, cypress and eucalyptus. Now, in this amazing study, peppermint oil proved to be more effective than the leading topical product in the world, minoxidil. The sixth thing is we can start microneedling therapy. While massage and essential oils both have their place, microneedling is a hair growth promotion method that can reverse miniaturization for those in the early stages of balding. To get started, I recommend that you use a derma roller. And this is the most effective manner of microneedling if you plan to perform this at home. And you can even see results in a matter of weeks. You can actually claim your free derma roller by clicking the link in the description. The seventh way is to stop using chemical laden hair products. Shampoos, conditioners, heat protectants and more. All of these over the counter products include chemicals that can further damage your hair follicles and contribute to miniaturization. So instead of using these chemical laden hair products, you can make your own or alternatively check out our all natural shampoos on the Hair Guard website. And the final thing to do is to optimize your diet. Hair follicles are a body part and are seen they're just as affected by what you eat as any other part of your body. With this in mind, an optimized diet can help to unclog and unblock your hair follicles and provide you with a healthier, cleaner environment for full growth. Now what I've done is I've linked two videos that we've previously made on diet in the description. So if you want to further your knowledge on the best foods for hair loss, make sure to have a look at those. Just remember guys that getting your hair healthy hair back is going to take a multi-pronged approach. There is no magical cure. But if you were to consistently do these eight things, you're going to be in a great position to regrow healthy hair. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.